it's just it's a great day y'all it's a great day um but one thing was about to annoy me you know what these earrings are fake i took a chunk out of my eyebrows like months ago and i'm still recovering from it oh Little did you know. Okay, so that is a really cute dining set. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. A yes. long body Escalade. Yeah, I wanted a Cadillac Escalade for my oh, first okay. car. <laughs> Swear to gosh! I cannot believe how many people were in there because it's back to school season. That in my darkest hour, you raised me up from death to life now. In resurrection power, oh, your love is strong. Girl, yes, looking beautiful. Okay, and then, um, yeah. Girl, I just have a feeling I'm just going to be doing like a bunch of talking today because I don't really have much to do. I mean, of course, we're going to do some fun stuff. Of course, I'm not going to make it that boring where I just sit and talk all day. But I just have a feeling that it's going to be like so much talking in today's vlog. So if you enjoy hearing people just talk, today's video is for you because, yeah, we're just going to be basically on the phone together today. But yeah, good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning over here. What time is it? Yeah, it's still morning. Okay, good morning everyone. It may be afternoon when you're watching this. It may be nighttime. It may be morning. Whatever the heck it is. Hello and welcome back. And if you're new here, girl, what's up? How are you? First things first, thank you Jesus so much for waking us up this morning. Amen. If you woke up this morning and you are alive, Jesus woke you up this morning and he has great plans for your future, okay? And even for today, you know, if we allow Jesus into our day and we surrender our control to him and we let him move throughout our days and our day today, he can work today out and he can make it so much better than you were even anticipating, okay? Because that mindset of like, I have to do everything and having everything on your shoulders, like that is one of the most stressful ways to live and I just want to surrender everything to Jesus and just let him guide me and if plans don't go as planned and things don't go as planned I have to trust Jesus and keep on pushing and keep on moving because uh-uh girl I'm tired of being miserable sitting up stressing and doing all of the extra I'm tired of it and it's like for what when I can literally give everything to Jesus now that's not saying we don't have responsibilities and we don't have things to take care of but if we do it with him it makes life that much better. He wants us to live in peace. He wants us to have joy and happiness each and every day. Not just, you know, in the super fun stuff, you know, vacations and shopping and eating good foods, you know. He don't want us to just be happy and joyful during those times. He wants us to be happy and joyful and peaceful every single day, all day. Because he can do this with us, but we have to invite him in and actually surrender to him and say, Hey, I can't do it without you, Jesus. I, look, if you don't come with me, I ain't going. If this ain't your will, I don't want it. Don't allow me to have anything that's not in your will. It's like in everything is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Like literally in everything. It just makes life that much better because he is alive. He is living. And you can get through this life with him. Each and every day he is with you. And you truly know that and you feel that when you meditate on his word. Not just reading his word, you know, just trying to get that, that chapter in just to feel, you know, super spiritual. Like, okay, I read my Bible today. No. We have to meditate on the word of God, like go over that chapter or over that scripture and over and over until it sinks in until we got it. Like, okay, I see what that means and then take it personal and apply it to your life. For an example, like when taking it personal, meditating on a scripture and applying it to your life. This morning I was reading in Matthew 14, specifically it would be Matthew 14, 15 through 21. Um, Jesus had been teaching and healing thousands of people, right? It was this crowd. He had been speaking to them, healing them, teaching them for a long time. Well, it started to get late and his disciples approached him and they were like, you know, it's getting late. We should probably go ahead and send these people on home so they can eat. And Jesus was like, mm, that's not really necessary. You go ahead and feed them. And they're like, how are we going to feed them? Like we have five loaves of bread and two fish. There are thousands of people here. He was like, Give it to me. He told everyone to sit down. He was getting ready to feed them. It says, Jesus looked up towards heaven and blessed them. So he blessed the food. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he gave the bread to the disciples who distributed it to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted. 
thousands of people ate until they were full. And afterwards, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. All these leftovers. What that told me as I meditated on that scripture, and you can ask Jesus for understanding. What that told me is that whatever I give to Jesus, he can multiply it and provide everything that I need. And I'll still have leftovers. So whatever you give to Jesus, he can multiply. Whatever you give to Jesus, he can bless. He's got something to work with when you hand it over to him, completely hand it over to him. And that has really been helping me. Like this morning, I literally woke up because I woke up a little bit late, y'all. I don't know how I slept in. I literally slept until eight o'clock. Like what happened? Girl. So at that point, I'm like, girl, hop up and get straight into your word. So I literally just woke up, sat up and started reading my Bible like instantly and I feel so good. Like usually I get up, I get my coffee, I may straighten up my room a little bit and then I'll get into my word. But this morning I literally just hopped up and got straight into my word and it just gave me so much more energy and made me feel so good. And I also felt so good because my mom and I got the kitchen all cleaned up yesterday together. So we, we got that mug sparkling and looking good. Jordan mopped all the floors, vacuumed and mopped all the floors. We moved a bunch of stuff out of that out of the dining room so we literally have space now to get a dining table so me and you are gonna go online today and we are gonna find a dining table uh, actually I already know which one I'm getting so I'll just show y'all which one I'm getting and once I get that that table in here then I'll figure out how I want to decorate but I'm ready to start decorating it's just been unpacking and all that different stuff so now that the dining room is cleared out listen that is so annoying when I'm talking but I don't want to turn off my ringer because I've been forgetting to turn it back on so I'll turn down my ringer but um so I felt good this morning when I woke up because I was like, ooh, everything is so perfect down here. It's spacious. Like we have space because we unpack so much more stuff. We've been throwing away stuff, organizing stuff, just doing it all. So it just looks so great. And then the other day I took my car and I got an oil change. I got new wipers. I got one of my freaking back lights was out. Like, okay, so I got that done. And then I cleaned it out the other day, cleaned it. Okay, clean the mats, clean everything down. I got some smell goods up in there. I gotta buy more smell goods because that just made me feel so good this morning too. I got up and went and got my, bre my breakfast from McDonald's cause I didn't have nothing to cook. And getting into my car and it being clean and smelling good. It's just a, it's an amazing feeling when your house is just super clean, smelling good. Your car is super clean, smelling good. And like, it's just, it's a great day, y'all. It's a great day. Um, but one thing was about to annoy me because I was getting ready to go ahead and start making my bed. Um, and I was drinking my coffee. Girl, I spilled coffee on my, what was that comforter? Was that comforter 100 or 150? Because I'm pretty sure it was 150. I had got at Target, that expensive comforter. And it wasn't the comforter that I was supposed to be using to even sleep or drink any drinks around nothing. It was just supposed to be like a decorative comforter. Well, clearly I forgot and I was drinking my coffee near it today and I got two coffee stains on it. So I was like, my dogs are too much. They always fighting. Like, I don't get it. Um, so in the inside, I'm like freaking out a little bit. And I'm like, no, because this is my mom's time to do her laundry and stuff like that. Like we kind of like rotate throughout the family. And since this is her time to get her laundry done, like I don't want to invade on her time. But I had to go downstairs because Jordan was just like, go downstairs and just ask your mom like if it's okay if you just throw it in the washer. Like it's fine. And so I went down there, she's like, girl, go ahead and put it in the washer. So that solved my little issue real fast because I don't want any stains on my comforter. I spent way too good of money on that dang comforter and I don't ever want to buy a new one anytime soon. So that was going to annoy me, but I got silent and the Lord handled it. It's the little things like that that I'm grateful for. So not like a big of a deal, but it's a big of a deal like to me because I just got that freaking comforter and I ruined so many comforters. So that worked out real fast. Um, what am I talking about? And where do, where's all this coming from? Yeah, because I was just talking about meditating on the Word of God and what meditating on the Word of God does and spending time with Jesus each and every day. It is awesome and it just, it makes me feel that much better, but I can truly feel Jesus and hear him so much better and have so much more confidence and faith when I meditate on the Word of God. And that is why it is so important to meditate on the Word of God and truly study the Bible. He literally gave us his words to help us in this life. This is literally food for us to get through this this life. And real fast, because y'all know my pink Bible has been my Bible my entire life. I love my pink Bible. Like that is my girl. And I never thought that I would love another Bible so much because you know when you have like your Bible, like that's your Bible. Like that's 
you know but somebody had sent me I forgot her name but she sent me this bible you guys and she knows I love the living translation so she got me a customized living translation bible I've already talked about this bible like many a times but she also got my name put on it Chloe Yasmin I'm obsessed with this bible if you're watching this video thank you so much because I literally never thought that I would love another bible so much but I love this Bible so much. It is worded a little bit different than my pink Bible. And I love that. Like, oh my gosh, I love this dang Bible so much. So thank you so much. This is like my new like girl. They're both my girls, but you get what I'm saying. Like, oh my gosh, this is like one of the best gifts I could have ever gotten ever. And I just love it. And it's just, thank you. Whoever like said this to me, like God bless you because you have blessed me so much and I am just so grateful. I love this Bible. Thank you. We're going around feeling crazy, feeling stressed. You're like, well, I read my Bible, you know, I do this, I do that. But are you meditating on his word? And are you truly trying to receive something from the Bible? Even praying before you go into the word, you know, Lord Jesus, please give me understanding and speak to me in your word. And I've always told people, you know, if you haven't ever read the Bible and you are a born again Christian or you are a Christian, but you've never really studied the Bible. What I would say is personally, this is how I started reading the Bible. The best way to go is to start in the New Testament and the New Testament starts with Matthew. So if you start in the New Testament, it will, the New Testament applies to right now. It applies to us. Um, so I would definitely suggest reading the New Testament first. I always suggest the living version, the living translation. Um, only because, you know, when a lot of people are first getting into the Word of God and they're trying to understand the Word of God, what happens is they don't really understand all the thy thou you know all those different things and it's worded a little bit different where it can be a little bit harder to understand and it kind of like makes people go oh, i don't know if i really want to read this because i don't understand it and it's not really making much sense to me that's why i started in the new testament with the living translation and that's personally my favorite tra translation because i understand it just straight up um so that's what i suggest and then when you're done with the new testament i do suggest reading the old testament to understand the history and understand the character of God because you really get to understand the character of God in the Old Testament and then you can really see like why we need Jesus and why we needed Jesus and why what Jesus did was such an amazing thing and why there's so much power in what he did um, going to the cross and being crucified for our sins for us he was the ultimate sacrifice um you'll see you know when you go to the old testament and see just how different and more hardcore and harder things were in the old testament and how jesus took this he paid this this price that was not an easy price at all out of love for us um so yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love, you know, how close I feel to Jesus and how amazing I feel when I meditate on his word and not just read it, but meditate on it and really, truly try to understand it. So I do want to go over a parable that Jesus used um, when teaching people when he was on earth, because this parable, it gets me every single time. I have literally read Matthew like eight times, swear to gosh, I probably shouldn't be swearing so like literally i have um read matthew like eight times and this each and every time it just gets me it's like that's why he taught in parables because you can truly understand it more like it makes sense like i don't know i just want to share this with you guys real fast and then i'm going to start getting ready my dogs are so annoying i just want to I'm, I'm just kidding i'm just kidding listen this is jesus speaking listen a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across the field, some seeds fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they didn't have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seeds fell on fertile soil and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Now listen to the explanation of the parable about the farmer planting seeds. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. 
But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by worries of this life and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produced a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as had been planted. Also, yes, my pillow is all messed up. The stitches came out because one of my nephews jumped on it and busted the dang seams. But anyway, um, what we can take from that parable is, of course, the first seeds that fell on the footpath represent people that may hear or read the word of God, but they don't truly understand it. They don't really try to understand it. They don't meditate on the word. So the enemy comes and steals a seed that was planted in their heart because just by reading the word of God, already a seed is planted, but it can't really take root. That seed's not really being watered or anything of the sort if you're not meditating on it and truly understanding the word. So the enemy can come and take that away. And then the seeds that were planted on the rocky soil, so there's shallow soil, there's like concrete, there's like rock underneath there. They receive it with joy. They're happy, like they're ready to get going, but since they don't have deep roots, and I believe a part of having deep roots is changing the mind. So it's like people get excited, they're, they, you know, they're ready to do this. They made the decision, a great decision, to do better and you know go by the word of God and they receive that with joy but they never change their mind because it is a battlefield of the mind so since they don't have deep roots they don't last long they fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word because that is in the mind you know they fall away because they're overthinking these things like letting the devil feed them with all these lies and they fall away because they haven't decided to change their mind. For an example, you can think your own thoughts. Just because these thoughts are coming to your mind does not mean you have to think on them. Does not mean you have to ponder on them. You can think yourself happy and you can think yourself sad. You can think righteous thoughts and feel uplifted or you can think negative evil thoughts and feel low and down. And the scripture that you just read is all washed away because you didn't change your mind. The mind controls everything. Where your mind goes, you follow. You are going to go in the direction of your thoughts we have to think righteous happy positive uplifting thoughts things that line up with the word of God because if not we are not going to have deep roots and the third seed the seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word but then quickly it's all crowded out the word is all crowded out and it no longer means much because now they are giving in to the worries of this life the lure of wealth so no fruit is produced because if when you hear the word of God you have to stand on the word of God and have faith and believe that Jesus is going to take care of this but if you decide to hear that and then go out and still worry and worry about finances and worry about just anything you know worry is of the devil worry is not of Christ it just completely washes out that word of God you know and you're back to square one but then the fourth one is the seed that fell on good soil it represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and they produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. That keeps messing me up as much as had been planted. Okay, I gotta get better with this because that was like mm. um so yeah, we have to allow the Lord to renew our mind. We have to allow the Lord to guide us and help us in this life. You know, when things go crazy, hey, I trust Jesus Christ. If you read in Matthew, just Matthew chapter 9. There was four different things that took place. He healed four different people. And he said each and every time, because of your faith, I have done this. Because of your faith, you are well. Because of your faith, because of your faith. The first time it happened was a paralyzed man. Another time it happened was when the lady was bleeding for many of years and she believed that if she touched his robe, she would be healed. He said, daughter, be encouraged. Your faith has made you well. Another time, a guy's daughter had passed away and because of her dad's faith, he raised her daughter up and back to back to life a blind man because of your faith it will happen because of your faith so we need to be that fourth seed that falls on good soil and decide to have faith in Jesus Christ we need to be the ones that have faith in Jesus Christ and trust Jesus Christ to fight this battle for us to do this life with us even in the small tiny things because the fact of the matter is we cannot go through this life depending on ourselves and putting everything on ourselves and live happy and live joyful. So we need to be that fourth seed that takes root. We have to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and stop letting the word of God be washed out by this world. You know, like just for an example, you know, you can meditate on the word of God, understand it, feel the Holy Spirit. 
and be like, oh my gosh, girl, I'm about to do this. And then you go scroll on Instagram or you go scroll on TikTok and you're watching worldly people that are doing the total opposite of what Christ Jesus expects out of us. The total opposite of anything that is of Jesus Christ. And it washes the word out because we have to influence people and not be influenced by people. So there's nothing wrong with having social media. It's all about how you use it, what you're watching, what you're doing because those things can wash out the word of god and then we never take root and nothing is produced what i know is that this pillar gonna stop falling on me that's what i know okay but yeah trust and believe that when you read the word of god the devil's gonna try to come and wash it out with anything possible one of your friends might call you with some drama trying to get you stirred up in some mess something might pop up on your timeline or the for you page that gets you on a whole adventure of like badness you know like you see something on your timeline and then you click on the account or you click on some hashtags and you're going on and you're going on. By the time you're done looking at those things, you don't feel it anymore because it has washed out the word of God. It is up to us to stay in the word of God, meditate on the word of God, spend time with Jesus Christ so that we can recognize when we are being deceived and say, hey, hold on. I'm staying with my God. I ain't playing this game because at the end of the day, don't nobody have my best interest but Jesus Christ. As you can see here, there's another parable that Jesus used, parable of the wheat and weeds. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But that night, as the workers slept, his enemy came and planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. When the crop began to grow and produce grain, the weeds also grew. The farmer's workers went to him and said, sir, the field where you planted that good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? An enemy has done this, the farmer exclaimed. Shall we pull out the weeds, they asked? No, he replied. You'll uproot the wheat if you do. Let both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, tie them into bundles, and burn them, and put the wheat in the barn. Then Jesus explained it. Jesus replied, The son of man is the farmer who plants the seed. The field is the world, and the good seed represents the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people who belong to the evil one. The enemy who planted the weeds among the wheat is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the harvesters are the angels. So you've got people of God, you've got Jesus' children, and then the devil comes and starts putting in people of him, putting in his people, demonic and evil people. Okay, so you have people of God, women of God, men of God, children of the of the most high in this world. And the devil comes and brings in his people to influence us, to get us to go where they're going, to get us to do things that they're doing, to have internal guilt and shame and weakness. Just as the weeds are sorted out and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the world. The son of man will send his angels and they will remove from his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. So on judgment day, Anyone that has caused caused sin, so you know you've got these these big celebrities up here, they are causing people to sin. They are an influence to these young people or even of people of all ages. They are the devil's people, and they are here to influence the world and cause sin. So anything that causes sin and all who do evil, the angels will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in their father's kingdom. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. And so with that being said, on judgment day, it's not going to be a very pretty day for the evil people that have been used by the enemy, sent in by the enemy, and have bowed down to the enemy and influenced the world in very negative ways. And it's not even just celebrities. I'm just saying that, you know, as an example, because they do have a very big influence, but it could even be a parent that has influenced their children to do bad. It could be a friend. It could be an uncle. It could be, it could be anything. And those people that are causing sin and they are doing evil things they are going to have to go where the devil's going because those are his people. And we go with Christ Jesus. So we have to stay steadfast in the word of God, be so tight with Jesus. So we are understanding when we are being deceived by the enemy. My suggestion to everybody is just to get into your Bible and understand who Jesus is for yourself. Because 
I know a lot of people just watch sermons or they'll just listen to people on social media and things like that but it is important for you to understand who Jesus truly is for yourself and understand the character of God for yourself so that you're not being deceived by what everybody says by what everybody is saying that Jesus is and who he is and how you can do these certain things while being a Christian and you know it's it's very confusing nowadays and this world is very confusing I feel like everybody talks about God and everybody some people are even seeing the name of Jesus and they don't truly know who he is and they've never ever tried to meditate on the word of God or surrender to Christ Jesus um and so it's definitely becoming very confusing but it is up to you because we are only going to be held accountable for what we did we're not going to be held accountable for oh you know they was influencing me no you're going to be held accountable for what you did on this earth and so if you didn't decide to get into the word of God and figure it out for yourself and truly serve and surrender your life to Christ you know that is not on anybody but yourself and that's why I personally got into the Bible myself um, when I wanted to learn about Jesus and wanted to learn more about how this walk really goes and how I'm supposed to be living and what I'm supposed to be you know really doing so I realized and found out and read real fast that this is not what the world makes it seem that it is facts are facts um, and the Bible says that we will be persecuted for being followers of Jesus Christ so I always expect for for people to talk mess and people to come with some deception or some hate because Jesus said that they are going to and everything that he said was going to happen has happened or it is happening so I expect that but the facts are the facts and I have to answer to the Lord Jesus Christ if I don't tell the truth so that's what that is but you know what I'm about to do I'm about to get on my laptop because I'm gonna go on Wayfair and show you all the things that I want to get because I have two things on there that I want to get. So let's, let's see. And this is what I'm going to go ahead and buy. So this is on Wayfair. It's a nine piece dining set. And it is a, it's 1,040. It's originally 1,140, but it's only 9% off, but that's still good. Like $100 off because it's going to be like a hundred and something dollars for the insurance. I always get insurance on the furniture that we get from Wayfair. Yeah, I'm going to get this um, nine piece dining set because it's really cute. And I love this. It's like my vibe, you know? And so I'll go ahead and like spice it up. I want want to get like some gold mirrors to go with it like a cute like little tree not like that one but maybe like that one those windows are so freaking cute if I had those windows you guys oh my gosh that would be like a perfect though but I'm gonna go ahead and make it look good I'll probably do black curtains honestly but we will see how everything comes together I'm doing everything piece by piece because that's like my best my best way to go shall I say like I don't know it helps me every single time when I just do things piece by piece because when I get the pieces in then I can see what else I want to do and what will actually look good with this set. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that dining set and it has eight chairs which is really good for like Thanksgiving and like Christmas and stuff like that for when we have family over because I mean of course there's more than eight people in our family but I'm also going to be getting stools at the uh, counter area. So we'll have about four stools there then we have eight chairs that's a good amount because my brother and my sister-in-law my other brother and his two boys, Zaire, my mom, Brent, Jordan, and me. It's 10. Yeah, so that's perfect. So yeah. Okay, so that is a really cute dining set. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then there is, I'm having to airdrop it like to this laptop to show you guys because it's not pulling up when I look it up in Wayfair. It's, it's weird. So I'm going to airdrop this here so I can show you guys what else I want to do. Um, I'm going to get this armoire because this is going to be the deal. You guys know I cannot stand that bag area, like all those bags on that coat rack. I cannot stand it. It bothers me so bad because it's just clutter. And I really like majority of my bags. I do plan on donating a couple though because I've been looking at a couple like, ew. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this. And I'm going to tell you guys my plan because at first I was like, I can't buy this because how the heck am I going to put the purses in there? But I'm going to show you guys my plan. And I'm so smart. We're going to figure this out. Hopefully it looks nice in here. But either way, it's going to look better than that dang coat rack. Because girl, that coat rack, it's, it's, still not, it's not doing what it's got to do. It, that coat rack going to have to go in like the dining room or something like that. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this black armoire, okay? And it has two little like drawers at the bottom, which I thought was super cool. So when you look inside of it, you have this. Like where you can like hang clothes and stuff like that. And I'm like, girl, how the heck am I going to put purses in there? Then I went on Amazon. Boom. 
So I'll get these to go ahead and hang those little bags on and I'll be good to go. So that is so perfect. So instead of having all that craziness right there, I'll have like a black armoire right there. I'll see how it looks. They had some wooden ones, but I don't want to like clash with that wooden dresser, dresser I have. I want it to be like the same wood if I was going to do like any wood. So I'm not going to do that because the woods on there would clash with that. And I'm just going to get the black armoire because black isn't going to go bad in here. Actually, black is like perfect because I have those black um like bars on my perfume shelf there's black in those cute little pictures i have you know there's black in here so i think black would go perfect right there like a black armoire now listen i am pretty confident that that's gonna look cute right there but if it doesn't look cute right there i'm going to give it to jordan and then i'll figure out what the heck i'm gonna do but i'm pretty sure it's gonna look cute right there so i'm gonna go online and i'm gonna buy those two and then we're gonna start getting ready i plan on doing like a mini pamper night tonight because i haven't done like a pamper night in so long where I do like some, maybe like a face mask. I don't have any face masks though. So I'll probably have to get, get one from Target because this is another plan that I want to do. I'm like spilling all the beans. Next to my bed right here, I want to get two golden mirrors. Like two of those like mirrors that like curve over. I want to get two of those. So I think that would be super cute. So that's what I'm going to the store today for. I'm going to Target to see if they have those cute golden mirrors because I want to put two in here. So if they only have one out on display or like one out for sale, I'll ask if they have some more in the back. If they don't, then I'll just grab one and wait till they have another one in stock. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I feel like I always try to like be on the safe side for like people's opinions. So I'll always be like, I think that'll be cute. If not, blah, blah, blah. No, girl, if you think it's cute and if that's your style, that's your style. Whatever you like, whatever you want to do with your life, as long as it's not going against Christ, girl, do what you got to do. If you want to dye your hair blue, go ahead. If you want your room to be black and white, go ahead. If you want it to be blue and black, I don't give a crap what you want to do. If that's your style, that's your style. We don't always have to go with what's cute to other people or like what's cute to the world to be on the safe side. If that's what I want to do, then that's what I want to do, okay? So it's going to be cute because I said it's going to be cute for me. So I think we should learn to not be so on the safe side. Like when we say something, to quickly be like, but you don't have to like, you don't have to like, of course, listen to that. Like, just say what you have to say. And if people don't agree with it, you know, people gonna always talk no matter what. The only time people ain't gonna talk and the only time people are going to agree with what you're doing is if you're doing nothing. So it's like, next. But yeah, I'm gonna go check out, do my little Wayfair checkout and buy this armoire and my dining table. Always get insurance, you guys. It'll come in handy. Um, and I'll be back and then we can do like a quick little get ready with me because I plan on doing like my showering and like my pampering later on. <clears throat> but I'm going to go to Target first and see if they have that mirror, the mirrors. But I'm going to have to ask my mom if I can use her car because my little car would not hold mirrors. So, okay, I brushed my teeth off of camera. Of course, I got the dining table and the little armoire. I prayed over my orders so that everything comes perfect in great condition. And I don't have to make any phone calls. Just Lord Jesus, let everything go smoothly with this water. And then of course, I'll have my brother put like the dining table together and then Jordan will put the armoire together for me. So yeah, I've got my outfit on. I'll show you guys in a minute. It's just like a quick, simple little outfit I just threw on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare and then I'll take the bonnet off and then show you guys what my hair is looking like and then just put a hat on. Because I've been doing like more like protective styles that keep my hair detangled and moisturized and then I just throw a hat on, so. Anyways, let's get this skincare started. I'll wash my hands. When I get home, I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, straighten up my room because it's getting a little messy and it's starting to bother me. So I'll go ahead and straighten up my room and we'll see what else happens, y'all. Just follow me around the day, okay? We're just doing a follow me around the day, basically, at this point. Um, only plan I know of is that I wanna go to Target and get, of course, those mirrors and then we'll see what else. And then I want to, I don't know why I keep licking my lips and my lips are chat. And then I want to go ahead and um, do like a little mini pamper night tonight. And, you know, shower, wash my hair. We'll see if I find a mask at Target. We'll see what else I do tonight. But yeah, I want to go ahead and have like a pamper night because I haven't had one in who knows how long. I haven't even had like a true pamper night here at all in this bathroom is so freaking beautiful, you guys. I'm so grateful for it. It is literally my dream bathroom. I love my bathroom. So yeah, um, I just always wash my hands, of course, first. And then I'm using a cleansing oil today, so I dried my hands. If I wasn't using a cleanse, you know what? Don't wanna use cleansing oil. 
because I've been going back and forth with this Origins Checks and Balances oil cleanser and then my favorite CeraVe cleanser. This CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser. I also really love this one. So maybe I need to figure out like a good routine. So I could use like this one in the morning time and then this one at night time because in the morning time I don't have any sunscreen on my face of course because I wash it off with the oil, which oil gets the sunscreen off. So I guess I should start using this morning and then this at night because this does not strip my skin at all. This is like the one cleanser I've found that my skin doesn't feel like squeaky um, when I get done cleaning it and it feels like great it feels as if I use like a cleansing oil and cleansing oils are really important so that you're getting all the SPF off your face because SPF can break you out and I have oily skin so to like manipulate my skin into not producing so much oil um, I use cleansing oils and this is actually been my favorite as, as well as the DHC one but I guess I'll just go ahead and wash it with this CeraVe cleanser you know what these earrings are fake. Get that soap off my hands so I can take these off. Dry my hands again because can't nobody touch these earrings, y'all. I want to buy some more earrings at Target, but I probably won't buy them in this trip. I get all my cute little fake earrings at Target. Target has the cutest earrings. I just, this is the one thing. This is the one thing I cannot stand about earring shopping. Is you know when there's like a whole pack of earrings and you're only seeing like two pairs you want in there. So you gotta buy the whole entire pack in order to get those two pairs. That's the only annoying part. Cause Target has all these cute packs of earrings and then I'll only like want one or two pairs out of the pack and it has like six pairs in there and I have to pay for all the six pairs. I'm gonna go ahead and brush these lashes up. Just put some quick like eyebrow glue on my eyebrows. But I love these bonnets that I got off of Amazon. They were like, they were $8.99 for two of them. So it comes with this purple one and then like a leopard print one. And they work so well, you guys. And it gets a good grip on my head so it doesn't fall off. I love it. And they're super big, so they're cute. Like, you know, I got my hang time. <laughs> Just standing in faith, y'all. Just standing in faith. And it's like, we could be sitting up waiting for something that we've been praying for and that Jesus promised us, but he's looking for the faith. He's looking for you not to be doubting anything spending more time with the lord really helps with that because his word makes it very clear that he gonna come through okay i always dry my face with paper towel though that is a skincare tip i'm pretty sure everybody already knows that but if you don't know paper towel is definitely the cleaner way to go when you're drying your face because towels hold bacteria so for my skin post accutane my dermatologist made me a um topical a prescription topical and what it has in it is azelaic acid, vitamin E, niacinamide. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so that's what it has in here and that's what I use every single day. So I put like a little pea size amount and then it's the texture of it. I'm not the biggest fan of like it doesn't distribute easy. Plus it just feels better on my skin and not like so harmful. Like, okay, since it has azelaic acid in it, it can burn a little bit and I don't like that. So I mix it in with this CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion and I noticed that that works for my skin. If that makes sense i don't know so i put some cerave and then i mix that together and that's what i use on my face because you know i don't want my skin getting over sensitive i know she said to use it every single day but um that can make my skin sensitive if i just apply that straight pea size product because i have to keep rubbing it my face just to distribute it so then i just put it all around and my face gets super red yeah I'm also pretty heavy handed. I will say that I'm really heavy handed when applying my products. So it could be on me, but that's just how I distribute it. Like it distributes better that way. My favorite sunscreen is this sunscreen. Y'all know I love the black girl sunscreen, but this is just lighter on my face. This is my favorite sunscreen. If you have acne prone skin, I really suggest this sunscreen because this sunscreen doesn't make your skin oily and it's very light. Um, it is the Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid with SPF 30, and it is by the Clear Line by Polish Choice. This is a really good sunscreen. So I just get like two full fingers of sunscreen, and I just apply it that way. I need to get more of this stuff. So I should probably go on to Sephora and get some more. Because I, um, I don't think I've seen this in stores at my Sephora. So I'm going to have to go online and grab some more before I run out. I mean, I could still use my black girl sunscreen. Um, that's a little bit heavier, but I love that sunscreen as well. The black girl sunscreen works very well because it doesn't give me a white cast. And this one doesn't give me a white cast. I love both of them. Because girl, anybody trying to be like walking around looking like Casper? It sucks that like having a tan is so cute, but it's so damaging. 
That is so annoying. But having a tan is cute. Not overly tan, because girl, I used to overly tan. But like a slight tan is super cute. I just don't need any more sun damage. Like I already aged my skin prematurely and I'm not trying to have no more aging. So I'll look, I'll stay out the sun. Majority of our aging comes from stress and the sun. Getting back on my water because I literally used to drink water nonstop, like all day, all day, all day. But like life got a little hectic for a minute and I just kind of like leaned off the water which was a dumb decision but it, it wasn't like I purposely did that it just kind of like happened anyways so my outfit's on I'm gonna brush my lashes do these brows like real fast like not draw them in oh that's fully dirty I'm gonna brush these lashes real fast and then do my eyebrow glue these are just um lash clusters I got from Ulta and they're super cute I love them love them they last for days you guys so i'm gonna brush them up let me go grab my eyebrow glue put some brow glue on them and then like shape them with my spoolie my eyebrows don't have too much of like a shape to them so i kind of have to do this brow glue every single day and then like shape them myself if that makes sense i don't know but um <laughs> I really need to get my eyebrows done by somebody. I just, I don't trust anybody, but I really need to get my eyebrows done. Golly, my face, the redness needs to go. Like, seriously, we're not really liking that. I really need to get my eyebrows done by somebody. I need to, like, find somebody that's good at eyebrows. But the thing is, like, once they screw your eyebrows up, it's going to take a minute to get your eyebrows back. I took a chunk out of my eyebrows, like, months ago, and I'm still recovering from it. So I just, like, shape them myself. And they're different every day you know like there was a chunk taken out right there and you can still see where it was taken out so it's kind of just like at this point what do we do i just use this nyx brow glue and just put it on my brows and then take a spoolie and then kind of shape them that way so if you struggle with like your brows not being like super shaped and like i don't know i would i would try this out because it's the best that i found this brow glue i just kind of oh no so i just like fan it with my hand and then I go in with a spoolie because if you do it too early and the brow glue is like still wet, it just won't stay. They ain't the cutest, but you know what? They held down, so, so. This is a hairstyle that I tried out yesterday and I just put a hat over it and I think it's really cute, especially when I put a hat on. I'm literally like obsessed with hats though right now because they make any style that I put in my hair cute. I just put a hat over like the frizzy part and then I look cute, okay? I look super cute. Um, so I ordered a new hat and I'm really excited because my favorite hats are from Target. Target has like my favorite hats and I have two like this one. This is the Malibu ten Tennis Club one I always wear and then also that blue and white LA hat they fit my head so perfect so those are my favorite hats Target hats so the other day I went on the Target website I had some money on my Target account and then I had a gift card for like five bucks so it took off a good amount of money off the hat so I got it for like pretty cheap because I didn't want to buy it because the shipping was going to be $5.99 and the hat itself was girl oops I forgot how much but I just didn't want to spend that much on a hat. Here we are. Look how cute this thing is. It is a Cardinals hat. And Jordan thought it was the coolest thing because he's from St. Louis. So he was like, oh my gosh, that is dope. I just got to make sure it's fitting my head. You know what I love about this one? It has a freaking, what do you call these things? A button, a snap button. What do you call it? A button. Yeah, a button. Let me go grab some dry shampoo. Y'all know I recently bought some Bath & Body Works dry shampoos girl their dry shampoo smells so good i was gonna like retwist them but they look fine it's just the top looks a little crazy but that's why i'm putting a hat on i'm just gonna put like a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair because i gotta wash my hair i definitely gotta wash it tonight it's been a little minute just because i've been super busy i actually have been more consistent washing my hair but these past couple days have been like busy and yesterday we went and dropped Zaire off um so so Zaire is back at home and he is going to be starting up school real soon so pray that my nephew has a really good school year and he's able to feel comfortable at school because he's got a new school that he's going to um so yeah we dropped him off yesterday uh oh let's pull this out i don't want to make a hole in the hat why they got these on here to hang it yeah i see why all right let's see how this goes <laughs> okay that dry shampoo smells so okay it's too tight so hold on that dry shampoo smells so good and i didn't even put my perfume on yet girl i'm smelling popping from that 
All right, that should be big enough for my head. Maybe my hair is bigger than I thought. Oh. Little did you know, mercy said no. I will never let you go. Life and death stood face to face. Darkness tried to steal my heart away. I'm just growing up, but oh well, I'm singing for the Lord. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to like go ahead and retwist these first two parts because I tried to be lazy with it. I was just gonna put a hat on, but it's looking like I need to go ahead and twist my hair because the top was just way too frizzy, and then we'll see how the hat looks. Okay, because I was trying to take the easy route, but it's just it's a little bit too frizzy at the top, and you can see that I'm really picky with how my hats look. Like my hat's gotta be on the right way, my hair has to be has to be positioned the right way because it can determine whether it's going to be cute or not. That's not a cute um, twist, but I'm not really worried about it because I'm going to wash my hair later on and then we'll see what I do with it for the rest of the time being. I'm very happy that I've learned more about like healthy hair and healthy skin and stuff like that. Um, and how to take care of my hair and how to take care of my skin better. The fact of the matter is there really wasn't anything I could have done to help my skin. How Accutane was going to really help my skin. But I have learned a lot. I didn't really know my skin type. I like that. I think I need to tighten the hat a little bit more. But yeah, I like this. Alright, I'm about ready to go ahead and head out of the door. I'm gonna go to Target, of course. I already said that. I might want to stop and grab some Starbucks though. They have a Starbucks in the Target. But I don't know, I prefer going through the drive through Sometimes I want to go to the one in Target. Sometimes I want to go through a drive through so I can drink it on the way there. But yeah. I look cute. Okay. I'm just playing. That was kind of crispy. No, but I'm ready to go. I just got to put on some perfume. I would wear tennis shoes, but it's a hot day. I only bring jackets with me because I get cold in stores. So I always have a jacket. Um, cause yeah, I get super cold in stores and I'm miserable in the store and it gives me a little attitude, like, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, I need to come back and straighten up my room because it's starting to bother me. Like when it starts, I can tell that it's starting to get bad. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. I'm not worried about a thing cause i know you are guiding me where you lead me lord i will go i have no fear cause i know he's in control my god he's in control my jesus in control Hey, when Jesus is, yes, nobody, nobody can say no. Anybody else that likes to sing, I cannot stand when, like, there are certain times where I can blow, like, I can really sing. And then there's other times, like, if I'm around people or, like, on camera, whatever the heck, and you can't sing for crap. I get so nervous on camera. Like, as you can see, my face is getting a little red. I get so nervous on camera, and I can't hit the notes fully how I would I'm like halfway hitting these notes it's so annoying but y'all know I've been keeping this perfume in the box this is that perfume I was recently telling you guys like a story about and I recently bought it online come on girl okay well that's the box I've been keeping it in the box because the box is so cute but it's just this Ellis Brooklyn myth perfume I'm wearing that today so I'm ready y'all I'm just gonna spray this all over and we're gonna head out the door I was waiting on you with the dough. Y'all already know I'm about to say that every single time dough comes up. Now I gotta sneak good, okay. It's pretty light though. It's not too strong, but girl, it's that popping. It's that popping fragrance. Okay, let's go. Literally had Jordan drive me all the way to this Starbucks out of the way of Target. Just because like, um, I want to get my order on camera, like me just ordering, because I feel like it's we're going to Starbucks together. But like, if I were to go into Target, like I would of course be filming, and I don't want to make the employees uncomfortable. Like, oh my gosh, that little baby car is like a little microwave. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, mm -hmm. No, that is adorable. No, but like, I don't want the employees to feel uncomfortable with like me filming. I used to be more bold with it, but now that like I love people more, I feel like, and I don't want people to be uncomfortable. 
that makes sense. I know I sound crazy, but like I used to be like, I ain't worried about how you feeling. Next, next, next. Literally got my nails done one time and recorded the entire thing. I had it up on a tripod. Brought the tripod into the nail salon, yeah. And the guy was dripping sweat everywhere. Oh and people God. in the nail salon were like, oh my gosh, you're making him nervous with that camera. Girl, I used to not really care, but you know, the more that I became like more like sensitive to people, like more compassionate for people, like I feel bad like having a camera out and like recording, you know. If that makes sense, I don't know. I just don't want them to be uncomfortable. Yeah, you become more aware of people possibly being uncomfortable. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it makes people, a lot of people like have more anxiety nowadays and stuff like that. I know that I struggle with anxiety and stuff like that. So I don't know if I was working, I don't know if I would want like somebody like, even though I'm ordering right here with the camera, I don't know. No, I'm being serious. Like, hello, can I get a venti strawberry um, acai lemonade? Um, and a Trenta ice water. Ice water? Yeah, and that'll be it. Alright, that'll be five minutes. Thank you. People behind us having a, uh, I think they were having their son or something practice driving in that big old freaking Yukon behind us. For real? Yeah, but they just got out and switched seats. Oh. He must have made her mad or something. No, it, he's probably having anxiety going around this loop. I used Maybe. to. Maybe. No, you don't. I mean, that's a big, that's a big vehicle. Huge. It really <laughs> is. I just seen that. No, but you don't get it. Like I used to have such bad anxiety. Like when I first started driving, like going through drive-throughs. Oh really? my gosh. No. See, for me, it's like I gradually like increased the size of vehicles that I drove. Yeah. During my other one, it was small. Yep. I practiced driving in a, a regular Malibu. And then I drove vans, and they like gradually got yeah. bigger than trucks, and now, yeah. now I feel comfortable. I remember wanting my first car. Like I knew, like I obviously wasn't gonna be able to afford it, but guess what? I wanted my first car to be guess. a long body Escalade. Yeah, I wanted a Cadillac Escalade for my oh, first okay. car. <laughs> Swear to gosh, I wanted a Cadillac Escalade for my first car. Did you really? Swear to gosh, that's been my dream car ever since I was a little girl. Like I've always wanted a Cadillac Escalade. I don't think I want one anymore, but my dream, my all-time dream, like I remember going to Soaring Eagle one time with my grandpa and somebody had their Cadillac Escalade parked outside. And I was like, that is my dream car. He was like, really? That's a nice car, hon. And usually he's the type that'd be like, mm, that's too expensive. Like, no, mm -hmm. like he had the money for things. He just would not. And usually he'd be like, mm, that's a little far out. But he was like, yeah, that's a nice car. Like you'll have that one day. Escalades are for the old heads. I love Escalades. I'm not Wait, I'm talking about like the new Escalades. Yeah, still. I ain't talking about them old things. They, they've always been labeled as old head cars. Escalades. Yes, because it's always the older people with them. I'm not talking to you. But you already... I told you that that's been my dream car since I was a little kid. Really? You, you're lying. Girl, I thought you that's been my dream car since You said I was, you wanted that microwave. I, okay. Hold on, let me pull out my Starbucks rewards. Since I was a young man. I don't think I'm ever going to redeem my points. I just want to stack them. Now, when it comes down to like Sephora points or Ulta points, I really should stack my Ulta points shack high because this one lady said she knew somebody that had like $700 on her points. $700 in points. $700 and she can get whatever she wants for the rest of her life at Ulta. Uh, and um, I don't know if you can stack Sephora because I know like they do like. They got going on. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I know they do like $10 for like 500 points at Sephora, but I don't know if like you can stack those $10. I use them every single time. Yeah, sure do. But I really should stack them. Here, here's my star rewards. I'm not going to redeem them though, so make sure you say no. Okay, I'll say I want to redeem all my points. No, you're annoying, literally. Yay! Thank you. And then may I get a straw, please? Or two of them? Super Thank exciting. You. I always forget to get yeah that's fine I always forget to get water every single time I come to Starbucks so that used to be like my order all the time get a good water like a good big shrimp to ice water and then get your drink mm -hmm. I put you on the water get your dehydrated self talking to me <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks drinks are super cute in the sun I love that oh my gosh girl this is cute all I'm saying is you gotta drive home no yeah cause you saying you don't want to drive home because you're scared of the highway, but the highway is actually- I'm not scared of the highway. I just, I haven't drove out here since we moved out here. I, yeah. I literally have only drove to Starbucks and like Kroger's I've, I've, and the vet. I've never, and they're all in the same little area. Like I've never drove anywhere. Exactly. And you're going to stay scared if you're not, if you don't drive. If you're not actually trying to go out and drive, you're going to stay scared. So 
We're gonna have you hop in and you're gonna drive home. Man. No. You're gonna be okay. You drove. I'm about to say the wrong thing. You've driven freaking uh, like other big cars and stuff like Jeep and a van. You've driven other stuff like that, so you'll be good. It's just a matter of fact that it's just the fact of getting yourself out there and getting you on the road, and then you'll be good. Once you actually warm up to it, you'll be good. You'll warm up quick. And then you won't have any feelings of anxiety or nothing like that. I don't know. It's like the highways and like the roads out here are like different and it, it, it makes me a little anxious and I just don't want to drive out here. As long as you give people space because people are dumb. I always give people space. Then you're good. You give people space and you don't try to get pressured by somebody trying to ride up on your tail. You're good. Mm -hmm. That's really how all it is on the highways. So I'm driving home? Yeah. No. You're going to be okay. Because like it's not even... It is kind of like driving this car, but I've driven, um, what was that rental you had that one time? That was an Equinox. I've driven an Equinox, a Jeep Cherokee. Um, my mom had a van. I drove that, that was the first car I drove. And then my mom had a Dodge Journey. So those are like the four big cars I've like driven. So you're gonna be good. You just gotta know that it's a bigger vehicle. And that's the only thing, which you know it's a bigger vehicle. Just Lord Jesus, please like guide my hands and guide my mind and my eyes and everything as I make my way home. Please don't let me get into any kind of car accident or any wreck, anybody to hit me, me hit anybody else. Please don't let anything happen. Lord Jesus, protect us and protect the car and just let everything go smoothly on my way home and everywhere that I go. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It'll be the first time I actually like drove out here though. I don't mind not driving. I don't have a problem not driving. I don't, I don't care. I don't like to drive. But um, since we're gonna have to go into town to go visit Zaire and stuff, we're obviously gonna take my mom's car. And my mom doesn't drive the highways and Jordan's not gonna be able to come every single time. He has to stay with the dogs. So, cause we're gonna like stay for like the weekend when we come. So I have to learn how to drive this vehicle so that I can get us to Lansing. Mm -hmm. And not just hop in at the day that we have to go, if that makes sense, you guys. You gonna love it anyway. Cause I'm not gonna pay for boarding each and every time I need to go to, um, Lansing to visit my nephew so of course he's gonna stay with the dogs and then I'll have to drive out there and we'll get like a whole tour room to spend time with my nephew and stuff like that for the weekend I can drive y'all I've driven like all different kind of cars like I know that I can just hop in and do what I gotta do I just I'm, I'm always nervous about things first I'm like really cautious yeah it's the thought about it that's getting you yeah overthinking is dangerous for sure Very. it can just make it that much worse I love how this target is like woody yeah, I don't want to show people's face. I don't want them thinking I'm recording them. But like, yeah, this target is like wood. It's super cute. That was literally the worst Target trip of my life. Man. Jordan, that was bad. There was, was a million people. The lady behind us was like, get me out of here. This is so bad. I'm like, literally, I'm agreeing so hard right now. I cannot believe how many people were in there because it's back to school season. So it's time for everybody to get like their dorm stuff and get like their notebooks, whatever the heck. Sort of gosh, I have never seen a Target like that in my life. I'm not gonna lie, me either. Not and, even Black Friday. And we literally went to two different targets. So the first target we showed you guys, we didn't even stay there because it was just so many people. And then we came here and it was a lot of people too, but I feel like it was still better. Yeah, it was better, especially when you got into the aisles. Yeah, and they also didn't have my mirrors at either target. So mm -hmm. that sucks. I don't know about this. Like, I think I'm just gonna let him drive home. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this, Jordan. What? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. You got it, I'm not gonna let you back out now. So. I don't know, Jordan. Stop psyching yourself out. It's not about psyching myself out, Jordan. It is. So what is it about? Tell me, babe. First of all, there's lots of people out. Okay. I'm, th I'm thinking I'm just gonna like drive barefoot. 
Some people actually do that because they say. I did it on my driver's test. They think that it helps them feel better. I think it helps me because these sandals are like not giving. I never even showed them my outfit, but I have on these in like some like baggier black pants. I'll show you before I. Yeah, you're so cute. Thanks. It's the first time driving this big old thing. Is it your first? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? How do you not know that? I'm sorry I'm being mean because I'm like anxious. Where do I go? Just go right. Yep, that was nice. This is another stop sign? Yep. Let's keep going straight. Until you get all the way at the other stop sign. Okay. And then you turn left from there. Now what lane am I getting in? Far left. Far left, okay. Yeah, I know how to drive. What am I doing? You be psyching yourself out just because you overthink every little thing. I do. But Jesus is helping me right now, so let me stop taking the credit. Jesus is guiding me and Jesus is going to get us home safe in Jesus' name. I'm a little bummed out about my mirrors because I really wanted to put those mirrors up, but all the mirrors are sold out at both Targets because, you know, it's college season, so everybody's yeah. like getting their mirrors. Now that's when you get in the left lane. But I'm gonna have to go onto Amazon and buy the two mirrors that I want for my room. But I'm like, ah, I think I spent too much money today. Good. Because getting the dining table set oh. with the insurance for three years, getting the armoire with the insurance for three years, that came up to like $1,500. And then I went to Target and I don't even want to talk about how much I spent. I didn't even know you got the armoire. Yeah, you're putting it together. That cover that I've been wanting for so long was $100. Man. So I got that and then a bunch of other miscellaneous things. But I got that wooden bowl because my brother puts all the fruit, like all his fruit and like vegetables in this bowl. And I don't like how it looks. So I got that bowl because it'll go cuter with our decor that's in the kitchen right now. I mean about that bowl, it's bigger too. Yeah, it's way bigger. It's yeah. way more steep. You can hold way more stuff in there. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep the theme that I have going in the kitchen right now. Um, I'll probably have it going for a while only because decor is so expensive. I love the way she drives. It's so cute to me. What? You like be all pushed up on the seat. You always lean up like this. I'll wait and I'll buy the mirrors in like a couple days. But I'm not going to buy them today because that's just way too much money I would spend in one day. She'd be like, that costs a thousand dollars? Ain't no way. But if it's 500 today, 500 tomorrow, okay. All right. That'll go right there. Perfect. Okay, so I thought this rug was going to work, but then Jordan was going out, like taking the trash out. And you guys, that doesn't work. So, I'm gonna have to find some kind of new mat for the front door. And I'll have to put this somewhere in my room. Gosh, it's gonna look so cute right there. <sighs> okay. We'll see, it'll come together. It'll be cute when I put everything together. But yeah, I wanted two mirrors to go on this wall, like the curved golden mirror. So I'll buy those in like the next couple of days. Okay, it's getting hot though. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my outfit and then I'm gonna go ahead and change it. But this is my outfit today, you guys. Just like some baggier, like black jeans. They're baggier at the bottom and then like a half tank with like an oversized hoodie or like an oversized jacket and then of course my hat so yeah let me go change because i'm getting hot back to school season so when i tell you the line went all the way back to the produce yeah it was very very bad all the mirrors were gone what because you know the college students the dorms and their apartments and stuff and um what else i might go put my orange up in here it's steep enough mm -hmm. oh i like this this is steep Perfect. I was wondering where my oranges were gonna go. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Looks great. Look how cute. Yeah, I'm gonna start eating my food. Thanks for cooking. Okay, great. Yeah. Let me see your harness. Ow, lock it. All right, out with the old, in with the new. I just need to go ahead and take this stuff upstairs. This is the dining area right now. Everything is basically cleared out like I told you guys. All of that I will transfer over to the living room and then I'll put the dining table in here. But yeah, everything is looking so beautiful, you guys. Everything is coming together. Uh, we went and got some Mexican food yesterday. I need to go ahead and throw that out. But uh, yeah, my mama made a big old roast. 
Ooh, girl. We got the new fruit bowl. The girls are laying down. So good. Oh my gosh, this is my plate, girl. We got some rose potatoes, celery, carrots. I love to have sour cream. I don't think we have any A1 sauce, so I'm gonna tell you right now. This rose don't even need no dang A1 sauce. It is so flavored. The flavor is through and through. My mom makes the best roast. I ain't no doubt about it. I ain't no doubt about it. Girl, those stores. Like, I literally... Oh my gosh, I'm not used to that. That was so crazy. And usually, I never see, like, younger people like me that don't like being around all those people. Usually, it's the older people. I can always tell in the stores that the older people are getting, like, so irritated with how many people there are in there. All the old people were not going for it. They were like, like, get me the heck out of here. Young people are just like, yeah, ba -ba -do -ba -do. people are like crashing into us and drunk. I'm like, what is going on? This lady almost hit me with her car. I looked at the car because it was like this close to me and she keeps turning it towards me. I looked at the car and I looked at her and I was like, oh my gosh, like, let's get the heck out of here. Like, no, I cannot wait for my entire room to like be done. Of course I can wait because it's really fun decorating. But yeah, it's little by little. I just really wanted that cover by Casa Luna. Casa Luna is really expensive. It's like a little brand at Target. That's where I got my comforter. My comforter. <laughs> Girls. No. My comforter is in the dryer. But that comforter. Oh my gosh. This food. Mom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My, um, my comforter takes like four rounds. So four hours to dry. No. Essence Bloom. Mm-mm. You ain't getting none, my baby. Ow, ow! She's got her grooming coming up in the next couple days. I cannot wait, because these nails, I'm done. You you got me good, girl. Ow! Stop. I love that door. It lets the light in. I love that door. But it's not like see-through glass. Yeah, it was just like crazy in Target. The first one we went to was absolutely out of this world. Like, I can't even explain to you how bad the first one was you literally could not move in the store so then we decided to go to a different target and that one was much better but then the line you know how you have like sub checkout and checkout and produce is always in the back the line went all the way back to produce yeah it was it was it was crazy but it's nice being able to sit here and talk to y'all while i eat because i just bought the dining table but I have not, I haven't had a dining table since I lived with my mom and we just gave that one away. But at my old apartment, I never got a dining table. I never even got stools for my counter. My mom straightened up the kitchen this morning. I'm so grateful for that. My brother cleaned out the fridge a little bit today. Jordan mopped the floor yesterday and cleaned the guest bathroom. I just swept the stairs like two days ago. So everything's clean. It feels so good to have a clean house. I love that. I love a clean house. It helps my anxiety so much. Like seriously. Mm-hmm. Y'all do too much. All they do is wrestle all day. I don't want to say fight. Cause I know they're not really mad. I know when they're actually mad, it gets loud. And it's usually because she took something from Lockett because Lockett's more territorial. Okay, girl. So I know when they're really mad, it goes down. But they just wrestle all the day, huh? I don't know how the moms in Target got through that Target trip. I don't know, like those babies crying, there's like kids running everywhere. I would have literally had like a meltdown up in that moment. I'd be like, okay. But that wasn't everything that I bought at the store. I wanna try and use this glow enhancer underneath my foundation when I do it. So, girl. So, I got this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion Glow Enhancer. So I'm gonna put this underneath my foundation and then hopefully it gives me like that glow. The other thing I bought, I got this Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So it's like a clay mask and it's supposed to help with like retexturizing your skin. I think that'll be fun to use. So I got that and it's pink. So I picked that up. 
And then I got, of course, you guys already know, I got these Gain things for my car because, girl, I love the smell of Gain, just like the original scent. And I love for my car to smell good. Um, and then I got this brow lift, this e.l.f. brow lift stuff. I'm thinking all I'll have to do is put, like, a spoolie into this brow lift stuff. And then I'll be able to, like, lift my brows up with it. I don't know. Okay. So it's like this clear gel or like a clear like pomade looking thing and I just lift my brows up with it. That sounds like fun. And then I got this Kopari Hydrating Vitamin C Shower Oil. I've been wanting to try this for the longest you guys but I finally just went ahead and got it. And then this smells so good in the store so I went ahead and bought this too. It is the Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. So we're going to use these two products tonight when I do my pampering. So yeah, little Target haul. All right, so I went ahead and somewhat straightened up everything. Everything's looking pretty darn good, y'all. Of course, I'm waiting for my comforter to get out. I always put this underneath the comforter anyway. Over here, I straightened up, got that organized a little bit better. But yeah, this looks pretty cute here. But yeah, everything's looking pretty darn good. I do have some packages over there I need to go ahead and open. It's just this part of my room that really frustrates me. And that's why I bought that black armoire. And then as far as like all the clutter that's in this dang vanity, I'll work on that like another day. I just have so much stuff, but I gotta figure out where the heck it's gonna go and look better. So I gotta work on that. And then over here, I just have like a little eating tray. But yeah, this is the part of my room that really frustrates me. But I'm gonna handle that. And then once that is out, it's not going to be as bad. But from here all the way over, I'm in love with how everything looks. But we can go ahead and get started on this little mini pamper night. I'm just so happy I straightened up my room. That made me feel so much better, you guys. Just have my room straightened up. Okay, I got the lemon essential oils going. Yes, ma'am. Let me plug in this wax warmer. Am I the only one that gets like a little bit paranoid about like leaving certain things plugged in when I leave so I always like unplug it or turn it off but yeah I got my water going okay that is the biggest factor of a pamper night okay girl so it is like a mini pamper night it's not gonna be like the full spa night pamper night shebang okay I might light a little candle I have never we have not lit a candle in this place because we are not with the soot but since I'm only gonna be in the shower for like what like 45 minutes I think the candle will be all right I already cut the wick so I'm definitely going to go ahead and light that candle. Okay, girl, because I want to have like a nice little spa night, girl. I deserve it. I really need it. Anyways, I am trying to figure out what is in these packages. I just ordered these like yesterday. Literally. I was not expecting them to already be here. But these nails I have on right now, these are the Kiss Salon Acrylic French Manicure Nails in the, um, the size Petite. I love these nails, you guys. They are so freaking cute. So I got another pack of those on Amazon because they're super cheap. And I can function for real in these nails. Um, and then these are my favorite hair ties. Oh my gosh. The hair ties that I have on right now, they're non-damaged. Like I could rip them out and it's not going to damage my hair. So I got some of these little um, elastics, but they have like no metal on it. It's strictly just like this cloth and it does not rip your hair out. And these are the best hair ties in the world. I usually get like a neutral pack where it comes with brown, tan, and black, but this time I just got all black because I've just been liking the all black. But I'll put these two up on my Amazon storefront because I got these both on Amazon. The other packages, I know and one of them is a lotion and the other one is migraine medication, but my migraines I haven't had, or she said it wasn't migraines, she said it was tension headaches. I haven't had any tension headaches in like a week. So everything's it's going pretty good, y'all. It's going pretty good. But yeah, hat coming 
looking like Pippi Longstocking. Stop playing. The hat has came off. I'm like, should I wash my face first and then put the pre-poo in? Or should I put the pre-poo in and then wash my face? I think I should probably wash my face do the face mask, and then do the pre-poo. Okay, so fake jewelry got to come off. Okay, this is water resistant. I got it on Etsy. It's water resistant, but I'm still not going to shower in it. I'm not going to swim in it, girl. I ain't doing it because I don't trust it. And I still paid like a good amount of money for it. It was like a little bit over 30, I'm pretty sure. So that's still good for me. So I ain't got time, but I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And I'm going to rewash my face. I feel like I just washed my face, literally. Rewash my face. Put a face mask on, which I'm excited about because it's pink. Yes, ma'am. And then we're going to do my pre-poo because I haven't done a pre-poo in a little while. I love pre-poos. Then we're going to go ahead and light a nice little candle and get up in a shower. And I'm going to wash my hair, which I'm also super excited about. You know what? I'm going to use my Olaplex because you know what? It is a pamper night. So I'm going to use my Olaplex because, girl, huh? Thank you, Jesus, for Olaplex. I love Olaplex, y'all. It just, my hair just does so well with Olaplex. It used to be the only shampoo I used and the only conditioner. But girl, I was blowing way too much money. First of all, it's $30 a bottle. And I was just squirting that junk out like it, it was just nothing. Okay, but no, I don't have time for that. But I, I really should get back into my Olaplex a little bit more because I'm trying to grow my hair and it used to grow my hair super fast. And it also just makes my hair feel super soft and moisturized. So maybe I will just invest into making it my main. I'm just talking, y'all. You ever just do that? Or you're just talking? You're just rambling? Anyway, so let me wash my face. Cause girl, girl, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cleansing oil this time. Cleansing oil, I'm using the Origins Checks and Balances oil like I showed y'all earlier, which is dope because I'm gonna be using an Origins face mask. But um, yeah, I told my mom that I drove her car home, but she's like, really? Finally, you actually drove the dang car? I'm like, yeah, I did. I would say that I overthink driving, but when I go places, usually Jordan is with me. So it's like, why not have him drive, you know? But today I drove. Which is nothing wrong with me driving. I'm just saying I'd rather him drive. When we went places and my dad was with us, my mom never drove. Like, my mom never drove. If my dad was with us, that was never a thing. I have never, ever seen my mom drive and my dad be in the passenger seat. That never was a thing. So I just feel like if Jordan is here, then why am I driving the car? I rub this into my face for like 45 seconds and then I just rinse it off. Break down all that SPF and dirt and stuff. I add water make it a little milky and then I'm able to like rinse it all off. But I have this makeup brush, it's dirty right now, I'm about to go ahead and clean it with some Dawn dish soap. But I feel like this one will be good to apply my mask with because I don't have a mask applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off and apply the mask with this Sephora 47 brush. Makeup guru, yes girl. All right, it's clean. Okay, it's just open like that. I'm gonna squirt out the first little bit because I don't know about that. That kind of seemed like contamination. Like why you ain't got no seal? Oh, I think I might have put too much. It smells like roses. I know you really shouldn't use fragranced products on your face, but since this is like a wash off, I don't think it will harm my skin. This is pretty. I like this. Mm-hmm. It goes on super smooth. This makeup brush works really good for it too. Okay. I think it was the perfect amount I put on my hand. I thought it was gonna be too much, but it seems like it's perfect. I love this face mask. It's super cute and pink. I'm gonna put it on my nose. Shouldn't be no harm in that. I don't know if I usually put masks on my nose, but I definitely should. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try out the charcoal one too, cause I think that would be good for my nose because I didn't realize how many blackheads I had until I went on Accutane and like they disappeared. And I was like, wait a minute. I didn't realize how many blackheads I had. Okay, let's get started on this pre-poo, girl. My favorite pre-poo is the Africa's Best. I believe that's what it's called, hold on. African Pride, what am I talking about? My favorite is this African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Poo. It's like four or five bucks on Amazon. I have this on my Amazon storefront and it detangles your hair and also conditions it before you start washing it. Ah, I love nights like this, you guys. It's only like five o'clock, but still. I really wish I could be in bed like every single night at like, here, let me zoom this out or zoom out. I really wish I could go to sleep like every single night 
at like seven o'clock because I could get up so early. I don't know why I'm taking out all my twists when I could have just did it section by section. I think I just want to go ahead and show you guys what my hair is looking like right now with me taking out the twists because it's cute. But um, yeah, I gotta try it one of these nights, getting to bed super early. I know I say it in like every single video. It's just a dream of mine. It's like a, it's like a goal of mine. But look how cute. Look how cute. I think it's super pretty. It's wavy and cute. I love how healthy my hair is. It feels so amazing to have healthy hair. Like it feels so good, you guys. So we're gonna keep on taking care of it. Yes, ma'am. And yeah. But since my hair is actually already detangled i can do it in two sections if my hair was tangled i would do it in four sections but since it's not tangled i'm gonna do it in two. Oh yeah girl my hair is already detangled so this is really just gonna condition my hair and moisturize it because it's not even tangled how amazing this is that's why i love doing twists and braids and stuff like that because it keeps my hair moisturized and it also keeps it detangled like oh my gosh i love this this is awesome and it's super easy to apply and it smells real good too, y'all. And then I'll just like brush it through just to make sure it's like evenly distributed. And then we'll move on to the next section. And girl, we using all the Plex, okay? And my new Kopari products, girl, yeah, yeah. Yes, so I'll use that cleansing oil after I use my Soap and Glory body wash. I'm using this one Soap and Glory body wash. Um, y'all will see it when I start showering, but I'm not the biggest fan of the scent because it kind of smells like vanilla and like hazelnut and I'm not the biggest fan of scents like that, but it is one of the most slippery body washes I have ever used to where like it just glides over the skin. Like it literally feels like a dream. It is so amazing. Also keeping my hair in those hairstyles, um, I get less shedding. So that was what came from this side. Get on it girl, get on it. I'm telling you these hairstyles, they're good and I haven't washed my hair in a minute. All right. It'll be cute too when my hair gets longer and I do like those twist styles and then I untwist it and then let it be like long and wavy. That'll be super cute. I'm doing this because I want my hair to be like down here. Cannot wait. It'll get there though. I will get there, I will get there, I will get there somehow. Cross the river, cross the river. I will get through the night and make it through to the other side. Get there, oh, get there. You will get there, you will get there, you will get Christ, cross that river, cross that river, and make it through to the other side. Get there, oh, get there through Christ. With His helping hand, we will. I can't wait till I cross that river. I can't wait until I cross. I can't wait till we cross this river And what I think I am waiting on Is gonna be bigger, bigger Bigger than we expected It's gonna be bigger Bigger than we ever thought Bigger than our minds can wrap around Oh, I say it
I wanna hold your hand. I wanna be your friend. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna be a friend. I wanna hold your hand to the end, to the end. I wanna hold your hand. Yeah. I need your Holy Spirit. You are welcome here. I need, I need your holy presence. I said, I need you now. I need you now. Please don't make me shout. Please don't make me shout. But I need you now. I need you now It ain't no way, it ain't no way That I'm gonna make it through this day With joy, peace, love and happiness Without your love by my side It ain't no way, it ain't no way That I can make it through this day Without my Lord and Savior Without my Jesus Christ It ain't no way, it ain't no way That I'm gonna make it through this day Without my Lord and Savior Strong enough to calm the storms Of fear and unbelief Fierce enough to break the cords of death that clung to me Cause I have come to know a love Whose power overcome every insecurity In heavens move and demons flee now As I lift my voice to sing oh, Close enough to hold me near When fear is crippling Safe enough to be my home When my world is crumbling Cause I have come to know a love Stronger than the grave That in my darkest hour you raise me up from death to life now In resurrection power, oh, your love is strong Oh, your love is strong Oh, your love is strong Girl, let's get this pamper night started, yes ma'am And I'm about to relax Girl, this is gonna be a relaxing shower. This is gonna be a relaxing time and I am super excited.
I miss my candles so much. Oh my gosh. I just blew out the candle, but it was so nice while it lasted. I don't want to have it going for too long just because I just don't want any possibility of soot. I'm pretty sure you can burn them for like three hours without the soot going on but girl i'm just not gonna take the chance it was nice while it lasted it got the bathroom smelling like coconut because it was coconut water and orchid anyways girl let me put something in my hair i'm gonna figure out what the heck i want to put in my hair and then i'll just go ahead and let it air dry but i'm just gonna use my whey curl cream on my hair and then i'll start moisturizing dang the bottom of my hair is so wet hold on whoa As you guys seen, I had put the Olaplex conditioner in and then on top of that, I put the Whey um, mask in and I really like that. It has my hair feeling super good and super soft. Yeah, girl, my hair is definitely getting longer. Like, I love that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Girl, yes, looking beautiful. Okay, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and start moisturizing with this Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm super excited, I smelled this in the store. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff smells so good. What is the consistency like? Let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit in my robe, but I'm gonna off camera go, um, of course, moisturize my entire body. Oh my gosh, I love this. Love that, moisturize my entire body and then get dressed. I just have like a little like sweater I'm gonna wear with some little shorts. And girl, I'm going to try to head to bed. What time is it? 6.36. I would love to get to bed by 8. That would be gorgeous. I would love that. It's not oily, but it's very moisturizing. Girl. Okay, let me go get moisturized, y'all. Mm. Okay, so there's a couple things I would say about this body butter. It is too thick. I think I just got done saying it's not oily and it's not too thick. First of all, it needs to be a little bit more oily because if it had more oil in it, it would distribute better. It is really hard to distribute this product. Like, I literally was like putting it on my skin and my skin was getting so red. Like, look. Look how red my skin got because I'm trying to distribute this product around my skin. It is way too thick and... It's not oily enough to where it will like distribute all over your body. Like I don't like too oily of body butters, but it has to have at least a good amount of oil to where it'll actually distribute. So I had to go get my my Bum Bum Oil or Boom Boom Body for Mezzo Oil. I'm not sure. I had to go get this, which I'm not the happiest about because it's going to like clash a little bit with my perfume or it's not going to be like the same kind of vibe I'm going for with my scent. But so this is what I'm going to have to do. I seen that they had a coconut melt there, like a coconut oil melt. I'm going to put it on my target list so that I will buy that and mix it in with this because this is going to need that coconut oil. I'm going to put that on my list, my target list, like get the Kopari coconut oil melt because this right here doesn't distribute that well. So I'm not the biggest fan of like oils anymore only because like I don't want it on my sheets and stuff like that. But if it's just like a little bit of oil mixed in with my lotion, I really don't mind that. Um, I just used to like over oil and then it just like turned me away from oil. But I definitely got to get back into my oils anyway. Um, I could even order it on Amazon, but I'll just go to Target and grab that coconut oil milk. Just because like, is it real on Amazon? I don't know. Like I feel like the Kopari stuff on Amazon is real. It's got to be because all the reviews are like good. But we'll see. We'll see if I get it on Amazon. We'll see if I go to Target and buy it. But I definitely got to get that coconut oil melt because, girl, it was not distributing. And I love, you guys, I love this Boom Boom oil. It is so amazing. It's not too greasy. It is so amazing. But it wasn't the scent that I was going for. But, oh, my gosh, did I forget how much I love that stuff because it moisturizes my skin so well. So, matter of fact, I'm going to go look at my hygiene closet and see if I can find any body oil so I don't have to go get that coconut milk. Let me just go see because, girl, I have everything. What I found was some Johnson's baby oil and I found some baby Vaseline because this has like a powdery scent to it. So I'm going to try, because I haven't moisturized my thighs yet, I'm going to try to mix the Kopari body butter with the baby oil and see what happens. I should have thought of that first. Y'all know I just be like jumping to like, what can I buy to make this better? Oh, they got the coconut milk. You know what? That's the solution. I might still get it, but all right, let me see. I'm going to moisturize my thighs. And we'll see. I'm going to put like a tiny bit of baby oil. Rub that together. Much better. Much better, you guys. That fixed it. So, I would definitely have an oil with that Kopari body wash. I mean, body butter. You definitely need an oil. And you got to mix it in with it. 
and then apply it because since it doesn't have much oil in it it's just kind of like stiff to the skin like it don't distribute right and it has like that white cast constantly and I mean of course the white cast always goes away but oh my gosh did that baby oil just save that body butter okay so baby oil and it's cheap y'all get you some baby oil and it's not super oily when you don't add a bunch. I should have thought of that at first before I did that name, Boom Boom Oil. Okay, perfume time. My bathroom is literally a mess from filming. But it is what it is. Um, fragrance of the day is going to be my number five Lou Chanel Paris Eau de Parfum. Y'all, I love this fragrance. This fragrance is so powdery and so beautiful. Ooh, let me put some little... It's the Bayang. The Bayang. How did that song go again? I remember it when I was on TikTok. Yeah, no, that's not cute, girl. Get your life together. Seriously. This is cute, though, y'all. All right. Anyways, perfume. I don't need too much because I'm about to go to bed, but. Oh, my gosh. And I'm putting it right back in the box. Okay, I'm putting it right back in the box. I don't care, y'all. I got to be real careful because this glass is thin. Mmm. -hmm. Jesus for tonight. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. Okay, girl, I feel so good. I'm smelling good, looking good. So my comforter has one more round in the dryer. I'll probably just take it out in the morning because what's the point of making my bed right now? I can show you guys what everything's going to look like on my next vlog. Um, but I bought this um, cotton coverlet, coverlet, whatever the heck. And I'm just going to put this at the end of my bed. And then if I ever need like a little cover just to go ahead and like cover up, I'll use this. But this is going to be super cute at the end of my bed, you guys. Girl, I cannot wait for my gold mirrors. I'm so excited. It's going to be a good idea. I'm telling you guys, it's going to look so good. And I'm really excited about it. Oh my gosh. It's going to come together. It's like the more I sit in this room... And look around the more I'm figuring out like what I want to do with this room yeah and the more I live in this um, condo the more I'm gonna figure out like what I want to do to it like yeah that's exciting I literally made my bathroom so messy just from filming anytime I do like shower filming like hygiene filming like stuff like that my bathroom is a complete mess stay tuned cuz girl I gotta clean that bathroom and um, I guess I'll show you guys in my next vlog. I guess I'll wait for my next vlog to buy the mirrors so I can like bring you guys along with me and like show you guys the mirrors that I want to get and the mirrors that I am going to buy. And then, um, yeah. We'll just make this like a series. <laughs> we'll make this like a series. Like when I say I want to do something or I'm going to do something, I'll just wait to the next video and we'll just kind of like do it together. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for the dining table to be here because we're all going to have somewhere to sit and eat. I want to make that dining room look so good. Like I seen this super cute tree today at Target and I want to repot it in like this pot that I seen there too. But I want to get the dining table first and then I'm going to go back, look at the tree, look at those cute like pots. It wasn't like a pot, but it was like a wicker like basket. I don't know. It was super cute. And the rim was like black and white. Okay, I don't know. You guys are probably like, girl, for what are you saying this for? I'm not envisioning anything. But yeah, I'm excited. I really have to bring everything together. And everything is going to look so good. I smell good. I got clean sheets. A clean comforter. A couple stains on it though because it is white. And certain stains have just not came out of it. Yeah. I mean, I eat in my bed. I'm not going to lie. Like I know that's like some people's pet peeve. But for me, I enjoy eating in my bed. Like, I enjoy eating at a table, too. But it's just something about being able to, like, watch my TV and, like, eat some good food in my bed. I don't know. Like, I know that's, like, so gross to some people. But I guess I don't care. I ain't really worried about it or I don't really care. Because it's me. And, like, I love me. So why would I not love what I like, you know, as me? You know? Anyways. Listen. If you're young... And you ain't got no kids, but you want kids, but you got like a little hefty schedule on you. You got life, you got duties, you got responsibilities. 
and it's already pretty stressful, girl, no, uh-uh, don't handle that, kids. No time soon. Because when I tell you it is not about you anymore, it is all about children. And I'm saying that right now because it's all about me. Like, I just get to take my myself to bed, get myself ready for bed. I get up, I get my own breakfast. And I like being able to just focus on me. Now in the future, when I decide to go ahead and build a family, it'll be time, it'll be awesome, that's great. Kids are a blessing from, from the Lord Jesus Christ. This ain't me talking about no mamas out there. All I'm saying is, do not rush into having children. Do not rush into parenthood. I just need me uh, some more years of freedom and um, being able to do, you know, whatever I want to do. Being able to go into the store without unbuckling car seats and wiping off mouths and sticky hands, you know. Um, personally for me, I've never wanted children. Like, I literally never in my life. Like, I've always been like, no. Because taking care of my niece and nephews was so hard, you guys. But it's different when you are with someone and they are present. You don't do it alone, you know. So I could see how, and I'm in love with Jordan, so I could see how when you're in love with somebody, you would love to build a family with them one day and grow your family with them one day. I could see how that is something that I would be interested in in the future. Not the near future, but in the future. But um, I say that to say that, like, I was always against having children. But now that I am with Jordan, I could see how I would definitely want to build a family with him. But I also think that adoption is such a beautiful thing. I think adoption is absolutely amazing because it's like there are so many kids out here that need a home there's so many kids out here that need a family and that you could really change their entire life just by showing them Christ Jesus from a baby on up or from whatever age people like to adopt on up I personally like if I would ever adopt I would want to adopt from like a little tiny baby on up personally like I would like to get him from the hospital or even like a little toddler but it's just that more it's the bonding years when you have a newborn that's the bonding, you know. I think it would be a beautiful thing to adopt and give, you know, this life a chance. Anyways, I'm being weird, y'all. I'm not I'm not being weird, but I'm being random. But adoption is so beautiful. Like if you've ever adopted a kid, I just want to say thank you. You're freaking awesome. God bless you. You are you are doing it. Okay. Where did all of that even come from? Oh, I was just like, wow. I am so grateful for life because there's like no extra responsibilities except for my dogs and Jordan helps me with that which is awesome Jordan's my helpmate he never lets me go through anything alone have to do anything alone like he is my supporter like for real and he loves his dogs y'all he loves his dogs Essence is attached to him Locket is attached to me and that's because I bonded with Locket in her puppy years I'm telling you it's like the the newborn and like the puppy years that is the bonding because Locket is so attached to me and she spent so much time with Jordan he's done way more fun stuff with her than I have um and then him and Essence bonding when she was a puppy because he did all the puppy stuff with her I did all the puppy stuff with Locket so Locket's attached to me and Essence is attached to him like Locket wants to be with me 24 7 that girl oh my gosh she's obsessed with me but I'm proud of all my mamas out there I want to make that clear because y'all know I always get my mama's credit out there but I also got to you know be truthful about it is better to wait and if you're not ready, you're going to have so much more regret down the line because you weren't mentally and emotionally ready for a child. And so you make so much more mistakes when you're younger because, you know, you're not as patient and you're more focused on, you know, me, me, me when I'm younger, when you're younger. So it's just better to wait. So that's what I just wanted to go ahead and say. And I think a lot of girls don't see that. I think what they see is, you know, I'm in love with this guy or I'm lonely, things like that. But I'm telling you, it is a full time job. It's not just a baby doll. It's a full-time job. And everything revolves around your kids. Everything revolves around your babies. Everything. You can't just hop up and go. You got a brand new outfit on, boom, you got a stain on it. They spitting up on you. You know what I mean? Like, girl, I'm proud of all y'all, okay? You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. I know it is very hard, especially in these times right now, to feel beautiful, you know, with all of the Photoshopping and all the surgeries and all these new things they have out now to make people look like cartoons and make people look, you know, to the world what is perfect. Um, so it's very hard right now to feel beautiful. But I'm going to tell you right now, God doesn't make any mistakes. Jesus didn't make no mistakes. You are absolutely gorgeous. And a lot of people are insecure in this time of day because they're comparing themselves to people that are not even real. These people got all these different surgeries, things done to their cheekbones, to their face, to their teeth, to their lips, to their body. Everything is fake. 
And so of course, when you go and look in the mirror, you're gonna feel ugly because you're sitting up constantly looking at these girls over here, what the world calls beautiful, the beauty standard. And you're not gonna have any of that because it's fake, it's man-made. You are made by Christ Jesus. You are made by the most high. You are made by God. You are gorgeous. You are made in God's image. What the devil is doing is he is perverting things and twisting things. And he is making these people. He is putting these people together. I would rather be made in the image of God and made by Jesus Christ then conform myself to what the devil wants me to look like. All that worldly stuff is of the devil. And that is the worldly beauty standard that everybody is chasing. That means that he is making people look how he wants them to look. You know what? I'm good. You got to watch what you're looking at. You have to seriously be aware of what you are looking at. How much time you're spending on social media. How much time you're spending watching these TikToks. How much time you're spending watching these, these false things. The Bible says, look, Matthew 6, 22 through 23 it says your eye is a lamp that provides light for your body that means what's going into your eyes is going to determine light or darkness when your eye is healthy that means if you are viewing healthy things your whole body is filled with light i want my body to be filled with light because i want my spirit to feel amazing when your eye but when your eye is unhealthy your whole body is filled with darkness that brings depression, that brings all these bad feelings. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is. So when he says, and if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is, that's kind of thinking like, if you think that viewing these things or watching these things, or if you think that this sin is the light of your life, like it helps you, like it makes you feel better, blah, 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 how dark that darkness can be because you don't even know what light is. So we really have to be aware of what we are spending our time watching, what we are spending our time doing, and what we are spending our time thinking about. A lot of things start with what you're watching, and then it turns into different thoughts until it becomes a mindset, until it becomes your life and who you are. So we have to be watching the right things, filling our spirits with what is right, with what is righteous, with what is clean, with what is pure, because in return, we will feel beautiful. We will know we are loved. We will know that we are meant to be this way. We will know that this is how Jesus made us. This is how God created us. We will know that we know that we know. And as I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself. Because girl, I have to work on that as well. When I start to feel these certain feelings, I need to start asking myself, what have you watched? What have you thought about? Who's talking right now? The devil or Jesus? Okay, so it's really about how we walk this walk. And we have to walk it right. Staying steadfast in the word of God, speaking to the Lord Jesus Christ 24-7, allowing the Holy Spirit to be present because the gifts of the Holy Spirit are powerful and we can only reap a harvest in doing so. We can only produce good fruit in doing so. Amen. I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And it's time for your girl to go. You're gorgeous. Bye.